Hi, I'm Dave Nixon, and I have a 601 XL B. And when I built the B, uh, before I had the uh, upgrade kit put on it, Zenith had said that people were running cables not with the proper tension. So I went out and invested in, let me see if I can turn it around for you. I got this from Aircraft Spruce, and uh, it's very expensive, but it's very cheap insurance. And what it does is it measures cable tension. So on all of my annual condition inspections, I verify the tension on my cables. Now I put push control rods on my ailerons, but this checks my rudder and elevator cables. And all you do to operate it is a couple of things you look for. We're one eighth inch cable, so we're in that medium blue circle, and the indicator is down here on the shaft of the body. And what this is is spring loaded, and you put that between the cable so that this arm is on top of the cable, and these two points are on the bottom of the cable, and it measures the tension between this given range, which is about three and a half inches. I'll show you how it works. Here's the cable, and I don't know how tight this is. It might be 30, might be 35 pounds, and all you do is put that behind the cable, connect this to the top, put it on the sides, and now that's your cable tension. And if you look here, it's reading from the indicator. You have to kind of interpolate between the 30 and the 40, but this says that it's about 32 pounds. Perfect. Zenith wants them 30 pounds, plus or minus five pounds, and now we're ready to safety wire that cable in place. And I'm gonna do that and go all the way around the whole plane and check all of the cables to make sure they're within Zenith specifications of 30 pounds plus or minus 5 pounds. I hope that's been a help to you. This is extremely easy to use. When I first got it, I verified the weight by putting a known value on it of uh, 20 pounds and let this pull that 20 pound weight and verified that it was in fact true. Um, and it was. It was close, it was plus or minus one pound. So um, if you get one, if you borrow it from somebody, you might want to just give it a quick check on some known weight to make sure that it's within tolerance for checking it. Because cables, right tension cables are wonderful. Wrong tension cables. What happened on this plane that when they reassembled the airplane, the cables were so tight, he couldn't get the rudder pedals to move. They would move with a lot of force. As soon as we re released some of the pressure on the cables, everything moved real smoothly. So, the, I guess the, the lesson of the day is, put the cable tension where it's supposed to be, and you'll have free, full, smooth controls at all times. I hope it helps.